everyone. So for those of you who are just tuning in, who might not be familiar, I'm Abby with Pop Dust, and today we're chatting with Skylar Gray. So she's a Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter who you've probably heard all over the place. So she's a longtime collaborator with Eminem. She co-wrote Love the Way You Lie, and she's been a guest vocalist for just about everyone, it seems like, at this point. Um, so we're really excited to have you here. Hello, Skylar. Hello. Thank you for having me. So Skylar just dropped a really cool cover of Goosebumps by Travis Scott. Um, and you've talked a lot before about how much you love Travis Scott. So walk me through how you decided to cover this song and how you were introduced to his work and everything. Goosebumps is the first song of Travis Scott's that I ever heard, I think. Well, at least the first time it like registered, you know, and um, I've always liked the song a lot. <clears throat> and it, I was not trying to go out and do a cover song. I was not like, okay, you know, I want to do a cover and which one should it be? I literally was just like hanging out in the the studio trying to figure out the chords to that, that song on the piano. And I was like, I'll just lay this down real quick. And I started like singing and then I started adding drums. And before I knew it, I had this like cover and I wasn't even like trying to do it. So, um, <clears throat> but I love Travis Scott. I love that he's like, the, the music he makes is very um, anti-formulaic. I feel like there's a lot of like, tempo changes and and mood changes going on throughout the songs and so it's not like your typical verse chorus all the time um <clears throat> you know so that's that's one thing that i i really admire about him cool and then you also um in conjunction with the song you launched a really cool gallery where you recreated a lot of travis scott's photos started with like just covering the song and then i was like you know everything these days is is online you know you can't do shows anymore so it's like how can we make some interesting content to go along with the song release and it's hard to make music videos in quarantine and i also just felt like that wasn't quite the right vibe for a cover and so um it started with just covering his cover of the the album cover um the one that you see like when you listen to goosebumps on spotify it's that image of him with the wings mm -hmm. And so I was like, what if I just like did that in my own way? And then it turned into actually my fiance, Elliot, was like, why don't you just do a bunch of pictures like this where you like cover Travis Scott visually, you know, as well as with the, the music. Obviously you did this in quarantine. Was that something, how, how did you put that together? Like logistically? <laughs> I mean, literally we have a backdrop in the house. We bought it like pretty much at the beginning of quarantine. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a seamless backdrop. We have white, black, gray, uh, red, blue. We have different backdrops. And um, <clears throat> we have a, a Sony A7 camera. And so Elliot just has been, you know, shooting me a lot. Um, we're just figuring it out as we go. Cause like being in quarantine, it's hard to um, have access to the, the people that we usually do to like be creative. And so it's been a, a lot of just figuring it out as we go um, and learning how to use different gear. I, I love that. Cause I obviously everyone's kind of being pressured to make do with what we have. So I'm yeah. really inspired by people who have been able to push the boundary. I right? can't stop creating. That's like, just not my personality. I'm not gonna like turn off until this comes back around because who knows if it ever will. Right. So it's like adapt, you know, and adjust with the times and, and figure out, you know, how to create dope content. So then kind of getting into your background a bit, I know growing up you were in a folk duo with your mom. Yes. Um, and then you, from there, you kind of ventured into working in the rap industry. And I, I know you said, I believe it was your interview with Trevor Noah, you said that Stand by Eminem was like the song that was kind of your foray into yes. hip hop. Tell me, tell me a bit about that. So I discovered the song Stan when I was like 12 or 13 or whenever it came out. And I was just like, this is the coolest thing I've ever heard because it sounded like the style of female singers that I have always enjoyed. And then it was mixed with, you know, this storytelling and this crazy mind, like genius story that he's telling in the song and I was just like blown away by the song and so I think I I like subconsciously manifested wanting to work with him and also wanting to work in hip-hop and do something that was like an odd collaboration you know like these two different sounds that you wouldn't expect being together uh coming together that's cool and I think that's something that 
maybe at the time it seemed very odd and I can understand like listening to that song how it seemed really revolutionary but I I think that's becoming so increasingly common you know the the first song or one of the first songs that kind of comes to mind relating to that is the middle like you have this country singer Maren Morris yeah collaborating on this EDM song yeah I think yeah there's a lot of that going on right now Mm-hmm. it's so much more fun than just like oh you have to pick a lane and stay in it you know you kind of kind of touched on it but why hip-hop specifically like obviously something grabbed you so much about hearing Eminem that made you want to kind of divert away from folk because your solo music isn't folk either I say I came from a folk background but it really was all over the map because you know I did have a folk duo with my mom but I also like listened to pop music growing up like whatever was hot on the radio top 40 Um, I was super into the Spice Girls and Backstreet Boys and, you know, Celine Dion. And then I was also in musical theater. So I had that side. And then my mom was also a Celtic harpist. So I got really into Celtic music. I just really love all different genres. Um, High quality, you know, music, writing. um, And, you know, obviously like Eminem is one of the best lyricists, in my opinion, of all time. And so... Um, yeah, I think it's the, the lyrics of hip hop that drew me in at first. And then it, now it's like more like, I just love the vibe of like the beat and like the 808s and the subs. And it just makes me feel like, I don't know, makes me feel good. I definitely heard that with the other singles that you've been putting out leading to this upcoming project. Um, so first, first I wanted to ask what, are there any details or what can fans expect from the next release, the next full length release from Skylar Gray? I mean, everything's so different than it was five, 10 years ago in the music industry. And it's not about anymore. It's not about putting out a, a full length album necessarily. Cause you can just, I, the sunscreen, the song that I just put out, wrote it two weeks ago, mm-hmm. or two and a half weeks ago. And was like, oh, this is perfect in time for summer and 4th of July, let's just drop it. You know, there's no like big plan to you know put out this album and pick these 10 songs out of 200 and it's not like that anymore so at least not for me I see it as a really fun way to consistently be putting out music and being creative and not being too like not taking myself too seriously Mm -hmm. you know just kind of like dropping stuff as I feel like as I feel like it you know right now all the music I'm releasing I consider it part of an album But it's like an album you get one song at a time. So I guess the first song off of the album was Dark Thoughts. And then it was Goosebumps, the cover, and now Sunscreen. And then I'll probably keep adding to this project that I feel like is a cohesive sound. How has it been logistically recording while at home? Because I I know plenty of other artists have been doing that. And it's very interesting to me. But not fully like DIY, but... It's actually fully DIY right now. Okay. Um, (laughs) For me, uh, I've been recording myself and, and producing for a long time. Um, I bought my first studio back in, and it was a very, like, you know, bare bones setup, but uh, in 2008. And so I've been running Pro Tools and stuff since then. Um, so I'm very grateful to, during quarantine, like, have that skill already um, that I don't have to, like, figure it out. Um, so I've just been actually producing pretty much all my own stuff um in-house right or I guess kind of tell me how how did those songs come together like what was what was the inspiration behind them since I know a lot of creative people myself included have felt very stifled right mm-hmm. now so especially with sunscreen you said you pretty much just wrote that so what how's the creative <laughs> process been so but the creative process has been definitely like a little bit weird in in quarantine just because it's like you're doing the same thing every day there's like this loop that we're stuck in, can't go anywhere. And so it's like hard to find inspiration sometimes. Um, I think changing environment has always been a help to me in, um, in getting some inspiration, but that's hard to do right now. So um, I actually haven't been writing a lot, like frequently. Um, I just wait for the, for like the, the magic to kind of hit. And then I, I dive in on that. But right now I do have a folder full of music that I'm really excited about. That was music that I started before quarantine. And so it's just need, needing some final tweaks and, and stuff like that. Um, so I have 
I'm definitely like prepared to drop a song a month at least. I'm, I'm glad that all of this hasn't hindered you too much in your creative Yeah, in fact, I feel like it's almost in a weird way been like the best thing that's ever happened to me because it's forced me to like figure it out on my own. And I realized how much I'm capable of on my own. And, you know, just with my fiance at home, like we can, we've been shooting each other's videos, each other's pictures, uh, you know, writing songs together. And um, <clears throat> yeah, we're just realizing how much we're capable of accomplishing on our own. Right. I love that so much. Um, so I guess in addition to completing this album of sorts, do you have any other either short-term or long-term goals that you want to accomplish? I would love to get into this flow of releasing music really consistently and then have it lead to um, maybe some some super tight collaborations. Mm -hmm. um, right now it's all just pretty much solo stuff or duets with my fiance and it, I'd like to like do some some collaborations down the road. Do you have any like dream collaborations? Even though it already seems like you've collaborated with a lot of people's dream collaborations. Do you have, yeah. do you have kind of any boxes that yeah. you're like, oh, I'm, I wanna work with that person? I would say Drake, Kendrick Lamar, and Lil Wayne. I feel like those are my, my top three right now. Right. Do you have any like kind of up and coming, it doesn't have necessarily have to be rappers, but do you have any other like up and more up and coming artists that you've been inspired by or want to shout out there's somebody I was just introduced to like two days ago that I am pretty inspired by his name's Oliver Tree yeah have you heard of him Sounds familiar go look him up his videos yeah. are insane yeah he's just like I think I want to I mean I would love to do a collaboration with him too cool well then that that was all the questions that I had prepared did you have anything else you wanted to plug or any any upcoming stuff you wanted to mention no just uh you know keep checking out the music I'm, I'm gonna be dropping songs pretty much like as fast as possible um with content to go along with it so um yeah just follow me on spotify well, well thank you thank you so much again skylar for taking the time to talk to us um and everyone watching listening please make sure to go check out Skylar. She's incredible. You've probably heard of her already, but just in case you haven't, check her out. Yeah, and have, have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe. You too. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye.